Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I um, did not. I had a terrible night's sleep. And I'm, uh, I'm really uh, strangely heartbroken in, in, in the strangest of ways because uh, we're going to a wedding, which I'm really looking forward to. And I'm leaving Gemma for the first time ever uh, with my parents. I know she's having the best, you know, um, the best babysitter, uh, the best setting, everything. But I never been away from her, and uh, and I'm really like heartbroken, and um, and I'm like worried that something is gonna happen to us, and that she's not gonna have any parents, you know, all these <laughs> fears going through my mind. Oh. And it's also the first day of my period, so that probably doesn't make it easier. Um, but it is what it is. <sighs> I'm very grateful to have such such an amazing family. Uh, my boyfriend's uh, parents is taking the boys to this camping place where we're gonna be next week, and and my parents are taking Gemma so that we can have this wedding weekend, um, you know, for ourselves and. Uh, uh, it's just magical to have such a support and I'm enormously grateful for that. Um, I'm also actually really grateful that I'm so in contact with my emotions because um, when I was in in my active um, alcoholism and, and addiction, I, um, I didn't feel anything. I was so numbed off. that I didn't really feel. I was so blessé about absolutely everything and that was... A terrifying state of mind. I just didn't give a shit about anything. I never wish to come back to that. Um, I'm also very grateful for for my program of recovery and the, the tools I have to deal with all these emotions. Uh, I imagine now, you know, this is my first period since I stopped breastfeeding been really emotional two weeks you know um so uh or one and a half week it's it's only been one and a half week um so i imagine you know that it's like a uh, tons and tons of hormones making me feel like way more um so i guess it's just to kind of go through it and be in it and uh, and uh, love myself for feeling all these emotions uh, it's also going to be really really fun to go to a wedding um, since covid you know it's been so little partying and now um, now it's like this really it seems like an amazing party it's not um it's, it's my boyfriend's friends um and uh, i'm excited to get to know some new people and you know it's gonna be really fun Looking forward to it. We're going to do some yoga. So get down on your sitting bones and straight and go back up. <clears throat> Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inward. <clears throat> We're gonna start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Exhale. 
we're gonna do the breath of fire we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and hard inhale two stops Very good job. We're gonna do the hip row. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And we're going to switch to Let's do a wide leg stretch today. We're gonna do it over both our legs uh, with a twist and then one straight forward. So inhale, come up with your right hand. Uh, grab hold of the other part of your left foot and look for the stretch. Inhale, come to the middle, and we're gonna do the same on the other side. So straighten up your left arm, grab hold of the outer part of your right foot, and look over your right shoulder. <laughs>
come to the middle. I'm like crying, so my eyes are <laughs> are dripping. Uh, <laughs> inhale, come up with your arms and exhale, step forward. It's so silly, but I fear, you know, that anything is gonna happen to to me and my man, and that that the kids aren't gonna have any parents. <laughs> it would be awful. And I know that they would be enormously well taken care of, but all these fears are going through my system, you know? And, um, and I am like this. This is why the 12-step the program, and this is why my life becomes unmanageable if I don't work my 12-step program, because I'll be ruined by fears <laughs> instead of, you know, just being very appreciative for, you know, being alive, having such amazing health and, um, and you know, such a wonderful life. I'd be focusing on everything that could happen. And one thing that I learned in the beginning of my recovery is that every fear about things that could happen is illusions. It's things that I make up. It's not reality. And I need to cling to that, you know, in in uh, in times like this. But I, I imagine, you know, after the car crash that Gemma and I was in, um, these feelings are a little bit harder to maneuver than they used to be. Um, so I, I, I just have to, you know, work with them and also sometimes be in them and let it get out of my system. Like not run away from it, just like, okay. So I'm very grateful for being alive today, for, for you know, being a parent and, um, and uh, for being in love. It's also beautiful. Um, let's finish up with that. <laughs> Get to the table position. Come down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye opening inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There's nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment.
feel your heart, for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for today. Remember to go out and give. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.